Kim here from craftbuggy.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these unpaper towels. I love these. They're so simple to make and all I'm using is um, terry cloth on one side and then flannel on the other. So they're super absorbent and you don't have to go through the mess of using a bunch of paper towels. So these are just a really great way of living a little bit more sustainably. And I love this. Honestly, um, I heard about this from a friend and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? So I remember I was just going through rolls and rolls of um, paper towels, just cleaning up like small water messes. So these are really great and I love them. You can always kind of fancy them up if you wanted to hang them on the wall. You can add a buttonhole here and then hang them from command hooks. I've seen people um, use Velcro on each side and um, kind of roll them up into kind of like what you would see with a paper towel roll. I'm not going to fuss with that because I don't like having to roll things and dealing with all that. So I'm just going to honestly place them flat in the cabinet and then just take them as I need them. So I will show you how to make these super simple. Stay tuned. For these unpaper towels, you're going to need equal cutouts of terry cloth and flannel. I like using terry cloth and flannel because they're a little bit more absorbent and obviously with paper towels or unpaper towels, you're going to be cleaning up messes. So um, that's a big important factor for me. And so I cut each of these 10 inches by 10 inches. And then um, honestly, all you're going to need um, aside from the material is um, pins just to hold everything in place and then everything with sewing needs. So I'm going to be using my Baby Lock Aventura to sew these together and then I'm going to be using your know, thread and then you want fabric scissors just to cut some corners and that's actually really all you're going to need. This is a great project, especially if you're a beginner. It's very straightforward, very simple and I'll show you how to get everything set up. To get started, you want everything facing right sides together. So um, terry cloth, it doesn't matter. It's the same side on both sides, but the flannel, make sure you have the right side facing up toward you. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this piece of terry cloth right on top. And if you didn't cut everything perfect, that's okay. This is pretty forgiving. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pin everything down. And then once I get all the way around, I'm just going to leave a small opening. Um, that way you can bring everything through once it's all sewn together. As you can see, I have all my pins in place. So if you wanted to add two vertical pins here, just to make sure that you don't um, cross into this territory to sew it up. Um, that way you can be sure to leave an opening so that you can revert this right side out. Um, I like to leave a big enough opening so that it's not a pain. Mine's about four inches or so. Um, if you wanted it to be smaller, it's just harder to bring everything right side out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this to my sewing machine. I'm going to uh, make a one fourth inch seam allowance right along the edges, and then I'll bring it right back and we'll bring everything right side out. All right, so I have my seams completed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to cut off the corners here. That way you can just get um, prettier, crisper corners. And then I'm just going to revert everything right side out. So this is why you want a bigger opening because I kind of, I closed it a little too much. I got ambitious. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and you want to take something, poke out the corners. I think I'm just going to take a knitting needle, poke those out here in just a second. And then I'll show you what to do next. Now that you have everything right side out, you can see the opening right here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is fold those edges in. And then I'm going to take a pin, pin that into place, and then I'm just going to create a seam right along the edge. That'll just kind of finish everything off. So you have your finishing seam completed. At this point, you can choose to be completely done. Or if you're kind of worried about the fabric just like separating and moving, especially in the dryer, um, what you can go ahead and do is just sew some random lines throughout your um, unpaper towel and then that'll just kind of stabilize and keep everything into place. Here are the lines that I put into my unpaper towel and so you can see they're not perfect. All I did, I didn't follow a pattern or anything, I literally just put it in my machine and just kind of fed it through in kind of wavy patterns and so I like how it turned out. I think it's a lot of fun. So this is your final product. Thank you so much for watching. I love how these turned out. They're so much fun. 
I felt like I needed some llamas in my kitchen, so I wanted to incorporate that and use the rest of my um, flannel for that. Um, also, if you wanted to see more step-by-step -step written instructions on how to create these, go ahead and visit me at craftbuggy.com, and I'm gonna post the link in the description below. Also, I have a bunch of other crafts on my website that I would love for you to check out, and I'm trying to live a little bit more green and be a little bit more conscious of kind of what I'm putting out there into the environment. So I'm trying to start some more um, environmentally friendly crafts. So if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. I would love your feedback and um, I would love to share those with you. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button and I look forward to seeing you for the next video.